Well, we went away on vacation for a week, and I, I let the game run. And I was expecting it to get maybe 60, 75 years ahead, and uh, it got 40 years ahead. I'm not quite sure what happened. I think the size of the database reached a certain point where all the in-game calculations started taking forever to do. And keep in mind, this is just with the top five English leagues loaded. Um, as you can see now, it is 25-18. Uh, I've got the game actually in 25-19 on the other laptop. That's what I'm looking over, it's over here. Um, I tried saving it about 10 minutes ago, and the little green bar is about maybe this big. So, um, but as you can see, it took 38 days, 16 hours, and 24 minutes to get to 500 years. I'm calling it 500 years. Don't don't at me. Uh, let me see here. Something. Let me check this out here real quick. It is currently 931,000 kilobits in size. So, uh, first things first. Well, ba they're back in the Premier League. Uh, let's see here. History overview. Ooh, and they've won. Oh, they've won recently. Oh, very nice. Very cool. Okay, so we are going to check out the history of the English Premier Division. Oh, MK Dons in Nottingham Forest. Ah, that's pretty cool. Uh, just checking the teams over here. Portsmouth is up, QPR is up, Stoke is up, West Brom Wolves, and then Cardiff, all the usual suspects. Let me. I'm not seeing Manchester United. I'm not seeing... Who am I not seeing? Help me out here. Um, Liverpool's here. Man United isn't. Okay, you know what? Let's go to the history here. So we stopped in 2258 last time. Because we were just coming off the Chelsea dominance and Doncaster had won not too long ago. 2268, that's where we stopped. Uh, so if we start here, Arsenal, 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 Cardiff, Chelsea, West Brom snuck in one year, Leeds, Arsenal again, Birmingham, Brighton finally winning, no longer the Bridesmaids, Bournemouth, then Doncaster, Doncaster, Bristol City. Oh, the 2300s. From 23, looks like 2313 to 2344, Bristol City was a, was the big game, was the uh, big team. They won a ton of times. And they kept on winning. And when they weren't winning, they were finishing second or third. And then Sheffield United, uh, 10 times in 11 years. Tottenham, four straight. Then Burnley. Man United sneaking back up. Burnley, Leicester. Burnley again. Oh, and then MK Dons went on a pretty dominant run as well. Okay, look at this. Uh, 24-23. To... 24-66. They finished top three almost all of those years. The exceptions being... This break here between 2437 and 2466. Portsmouth three times in a row. Hey, there we go. Palace five times in six years. And Arsenal again. Good grief. And then McDonald's. Let's check Arsenal out here real quick. 84 Premier Division titles. Let's check out some records here. Yep, Arsenal's won it the most times. Most points in a season, fewest points in a season with Birmingham way back in the day. Most league wins, Arsenal, 2270. Most defeats, 34. Highest attendance was Cardiff v Liverpool. Marcin Orlowski. Most goals, 300 years ago. Well, 250 years ago. 
highest average rating. 8.19 and 38 appearances. Wow. Joel Booker. 376 goals in 637 games. He's running games as a head coach. Four years as England coach. Coach Lester a couple times. Okay. Goal score. 15 years, 233 days. Phil Wormel close for Bristol City. Who he might actually still be in the game. He is. He's a coach. And uh, not a very good one. It's the one goal he scored right there when he was 15. Not a fantastic career, but you know what? That's okay. So McDonald's are the current title holders. Let's go down to the championship here. Colchester's up, Crew, Darby, Doncaster's down, Everton's down, that's who I was missing from earlier. Leicester's down, Leeds is down, Man United's down, Newcastle, West Ham, uh, Wickham's up, Rotherham's up. Uh, let's go down to League One. Villa, Bournemouth. Canvey Island, Canvey Island's up. SC United's up. Huddersfield is down. Hull, Middlesbrough, Newport, Notts County, Scarborough Athletic, Spennymoor, Torquay, Watford. Hey. Any teams from the Premier League all the way down here in League Two? No, it doesn't look like it. Uh, National League. No, not a lot of not, not a lot of movement there. The North. And the South. Dorking Wanderers. Okay. Something tells me there's teams that have fallen down to the Vanarama. I suspect if we go up to like, okay, let's go to League Two here real quick. Um, well, you know, what, let's go up one more to League One. So, a team like Watford. Actually, you know what we can do is go back to the Vanarama. So here's the Vanarama. If we go to history, past winners. You know, I'm scrolling through. I'm not seeing any names jumping out at me here. Um, unless I'm just completely missing something. Swansea. Uh, you know, they were a Premier League team. Did Accrington make it all the way up? I have not. I'm sure there's a team that's... That, you know, Swansea it seems to be the only one that I can see off the top of my head that I'm, that I'm sure has been in the Premier League at one point in time and has fallen all the way down to the Vanarama. Uh, the AFC Wimbledon, I want to say they were in the Premier League. Maybe not. Okay. There's, you know, we're 500 years in, you'd think there'd be a little bit more movement amongst the teams, but I guess it just goes to show that, you know, a decent amount would have to happen for... something. something behind the scenes would have to happen for a team to fall even further down. I mean, if we take a look at Man United here, they've been bouncing back and forth. What's the lowest they've gone? Yeah, they were premier for the longest, longest time. Down to the championship. I mean, the only thing, the only teams I can think of off the top of my head that may, may have fallen all the way down and, and then came back up, Huddersfield's the primary one. League one, league two, league one, championship. I mean, it would take some, it would take some doing and, and some looking, but I'm, I'm positive it's happened. It's, it's probably just gonna be some team that I'm just only aware of peripherally, you know, because I'll, I'll be the first to admit my knowledge of the English football pyramid is at best two or three PowerPoint slides deep. It's, it's not all that inclusive. Um, or all-encompassing. Um, 
Let's go back to the Premier League here real quick. Where did Portsmouth start the save out? They were in League 1. MK Don started out in League 2? Yeah, they started out in League 2. They won the Premier League 31 times. Bristol City, I'm, I'm almost positive they started out in League 1. Oh, they're a championship team. Why, why did I? I'm just be thinking of something else. So, yeah, I just, you know, that's kind of surprising. I would have thought we'd have maybe a team or two fall down to the Vanarama and a couple teams from the Vanarama south or north make their way up. I mean, I, it's, it's, I'm almost positive it's happened. I just, I haven't taken the time. I mean, this is literally my first time looking at this. Um, so I'm, I'm discovering this the, the same time you all are. Uh, the Bundesliga is second. Uh, Swedish is fourth in the world. That's interesting. Um... What can we look at now? You know what? Let's look at World Cups. Spain, the defending world champion. Being Argentina. Okay. Ooh, Ghana won in 2270. Denmark, Slovenia. Holland. I'm just, Ireland won it in 23-30. I'm just looking at first place teams at the moment. Croatia, Chile, Tunisia won in 23-70. Mexico, uh, England won at 24-06. Scotland, 24-14. Sweden, 24-26. Belgium, Bosnia and Herzegovina, 24-46. Austria won, Senegal's won. Switzerland, Croatia, Hungary won again, 25-18, just recently. And then it's, yeah, I, I mentioned this before, the second and third place teams are always kind of surprising me. Australia in second place one year. Turkey, well, that's not exactly unexpected. The USA, second one year, that's, that is unexpected. Iraq, the year was hosted in the USA. Tunisia came in first, Iraq came in second, Brazil came in third. That would have been an interesting World Cup. USA's placed third a couple of times. Ireland beat Germany. Slovenia beat Portugal. And then it's your your usual suspects. Uh, France has won it the most times, 18. Switzerland beat Saudi Arabia 10 0. High scoring match uh, was in 1954. It's oh, pretty cool. India lost 52 games over the course of 50 years. Spain was really dominant, 24-34 to 24-54, 40 matches without losing. Indonesia has been, ah, it's been pretty bad. Nathan Mullen, 10 goals, scored by Premier Match, Lee Tipton, 2082. Okay, um, you know, Champions League next. Galatasaray. McDonald's, Sevilla, Sheffield United, Nottingham Forest, McDonald's, Bayern. Okay. Scroll down here. I could probably use the sidebar, make it a little bit easier. Hmm. Why do that? So, Monaco. So, here's where we left off last time when Monaco won. Dortmund. Barcelona, Benfica, Schalke snuck up, Cardiff won it one year, Leeds back-to-back, -back. Cardiff, Schalke, Cardiff again, Atletico, it's kind of your quote-unquote usual suspects, uh, Brighton, Midtjylland, uh, Doncaster, Bristol City, Benfica, Fenerbahce, um, trying out Bristol City, won four in a row. I'm trying to see if there's any surprises, like the, the year the, the Israeli teams won. In this case, it's just, it's mostly the usual suspects, and then teams like, you know, Burnley will sneak up every once in a while. Okay, Krasnodar beating Schalke, that's kind of cool. Um, Burnley winning three again in a row. 
Dons, Fenerbahce, Cisco Moscow, Galatasaray, Fenerbahce, Lokomotiv Moscow. Okay, that's cool. Celtic. Finally. Palace. Nice. And recently, too. Very cool. Way to go, boys. Galatasaray beating Portsmouth. Okay. And then again, looking at the teams in the second place, that's where you see some, some surprises every once in a while. Wolves. Uh, look over to Moscow. Spartak, Moscow. AIK. Maccabi Tel Aviv losing, uh, losing to Real Madrid. Zenit, Valor. That strikes me as Icelandic. That is Icelandic. And then really no other surprises. Um, you know, kind of the... I don't want to say the usual suspects, but kind of the teams you expect if, if they were playing today. And then this is, this is kind of nice in terms of the dispersion we see between the winners for the most part. Braun. Okay. Yeah, this is the year my copy tell you beat, beat Midtjylland. I missed Braun last time, I think. Uh, Euro Cup. Rangers, Anderlecht. Well, okay, that's kind of cool. Uh, scroll up here real quick. 22.58. Yep, I remember that. Fenerbahce. And then Ajax. So, Mitchelland, Ajax, Leeds, FC Salzburg, Stromgods, Godstet. That's Norwegian. Dynamo, Sheffield Wednesday, Maccabi Tel Aviv again. Maccabi Haifa. West Ham, Bournemouth, Fenerbahce. Maccabi Tel Aviv again. Strong set again. Budapest. Stretch me as an Oh, Hungarian. Okay, that's cool. Wasn't that around the time when Hungary won the World Cup? Legia Warsaw. Roma. Molde? Molde FK. Molde from Norway. Okay. Ran again. Napredak. Serbian. Okay, that's cool. Look at Moscow a couple times. Krasnodar, Portsmouth, Maribor. Uh, Rosenborg. Celtic. Rangers just won it. Cork City. Oh, I wonder. Oh, they're Irish. I should have known that. Anderlecht. Gothborg. CSK Sofia. Hamarby, Victoria Pilsen. Copy Tel Aviv again. So this, this is cool. This is a this is a lot larger spread of teams. Than, than I would have thought, to be honest with you. I wonder. I'm going to check this out real quick. Ladbrokes Premiership. Celtic Rangers. Celtic Rangers. Celtic, Celtic, Celtic. So the last time a team not named Celtic or Rangers won the Ladbrokes was 2040 when Aberdeen did it. I wonder. Okay, here we go. 2258, PSG. Monaco, PSG. Oh, Leon snuck up a couple times. PSG, Monaco, PSG, Monaco, Leon. PSG, Monaco, Leon. PSG, Leon. Monaco, PSG. Oh, that's kind of a bummer. Uh, Bundesliga. This is the bottom here. We'll scroll up. Borussia Dortmund, Bayer. Schalke. Schalke, Schalke, Bayern, BVB. Schalke, Bayern, BVB. 
looks like Bayer every once in a while. And Bayern. BVB Bayer. BVB Bayer. BVB Bayer. Check out Serie A here real quick. So here we go here. Milan, Juve, Inter, Roma, Napoli. Inter, Juve, Inter, Juve, Roma. Yeah, I just... That, that's really kind of a bummer. I, I was hoping for a little bit more diversity there, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers. Uh, let me check something out here. Well, well, player of the year. So if I scroll all the way down to 2019, it should be... Yeah. So Ronaldo, Messi, so on and so forth. So if I sort by name, and then just go to a quick look through... There was the player who was at West Ham and then went to PSG, who won it like seven times. Mamadi Fernandez. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. Four times with West Ham, three times with PSG. So we're looking for somebody who's won it at least seven times. Nope. Mamadou Correa won it last year, or this year rather. That's yeah, easy to see why. Okay. Anything else I can look at? Yeah. I don't know, there's a ton of stuff I can look at. I mean, I could probably spend at least two or three days just looking through all this stuff. But I think for now, we're just going to call this here. Part of me was tempted just to let the computer run and uh, see if I could get to a thousand years before 20 dropped. Hold on a second, be right back. But yeah, it, it's been about a half hour since I started recording this and, and the laptop's still trying to save the game in 2519. So um, I am gonna make this save available, available on Mediafire. I'm probably gonna have to zip it or, or WinRAR it to uh, make it a palatable size. And then, uh, you know, have fun looking. If, if, you're, if, you, if you want something to do, maybe you know, dorking wanderers in the Vanarama South, you can try and bring them up to the Premier League, or, you know, as I'm clicking back and forth here, maybe take a team that hasn't won the Premier League yet, can't be Palace because they won eight times, uh, try and have them win it. But yeah, this was, this was interesting. I think I'll try and do this again in FM20. And like I said, part of me would be interested in doing this with more than one league. I just, I don't have the computer to do that. So... But this has been this has been a pretty cool exercise. It's been interesting to see the teams move up and down and the dominance that certain teams have had at certain times. You know, the West Ham years in the in the 2000s, MK Dons, um, Brighton, Arsenal. I mean, Arsenal's just head and shoulders above everybody else. I mean, they've won the league any one times for crying out loud. Let me check this out here real quick. Most goals by a player in a season. Justin Verges for Portsmouth had 31 last year. HD. Definitely a complete forward. 111 caps, 62 goals. So you can see stuff like this I could just I could spend all day on. Luciano Nunziata. Who's a very good head coach. Holy cow. Had some very good seasons for Palace. And they paid a mint of money from him. From Sparta Prague. Sparta Prague paid 116 million for him. And then they turned around and sold him to Palace for 144. Holy cow. That's just. Okay, that, stuff like that is just really, really cool. Look at this. He's a brilliant head coach. He's an under 18s coach at Burnley right now. He'll be a head coach in no time. But yeah, so yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this save. Uh, available on Media Fire. Link's going to be down below. Uh, no, it's 35 minutes right now. I could probably edit it down to about 25, maybe 20. There's just so much to look at. There's so many rabbit holes to go down. But that said, this this was fun to do. I hope you liked it. If you did, please have a like, subscribe to the channel for more content. Uh, questions? Uh, if you, there's something you want me to look at, leave it down below, and I will do my best. Uh, otherwise, like I said, the saves the bell for you, available for everyone else to look at. Knock yourselves out. My name's FM Jellico. Thanks for watching.